menopause. <laughs> Wait for it. Menopause. <laughs> I'm not as voracious as Carol at reading, 
or Scott. Scott, they, they have like, my dad, my mom, they have like books going all the time. I don't know how they have the time to do it. But when, I, when, I'm, on a, when I'm on a plane and when I, or when I'm, uh, if I decide to read a book or I want to do something, I will read it from front to end in, a, in one or two sittings. I won't, I won't, you know, I won't like go, oh, that was a lovely chapter. I'll get back to you in three days. I'm a control freak. My brain has to get Guess what? Um, but we've been well, writing. I was going to say is, you were you? I'm going to say something. Go on. Uh, <laughs> even though he's really not very good at the actual writing, we both have pretty good imaginations. And he, as you know, is pretty good at telling stories. <laughs> <laughs> so when we decided to collaborate, it seemed like we had pretty well-defined parts that we could play. We both have good imaginations. We brainstorm together. Yeah, um, we have really defined very... parts. She has a baby doo doo and I got a dog and a long dog. <laughs> <laughs> say that um, Claire and I had a china cabinet. <laughs> because... Nothing breaks in there. Because... Word, <laughs> china, kind, for some reason... We don't need to go into this. <laughs> you don't need to know about your china cabinet or my niece's china cabinet. We've gone to 
you know, Carol in Milwaukee, I, we've both been to the Milwaukee uh, Art Museum, the Museum of uh, Modern Art in Chicago, the, you know, New York, any cities that we go to, they could have going to hit the museums. Oh, tell me about the really cool thing that happened. Oh, in Scotland. In Scotland. Oh, yeah. We wanted to, we, we are going to, um, we have another trilogy that we just signed to do that's mm. going to be young adults, so it turns up to be older, mm. and um, you can gay for that. <laughs> Um, the National Gallery through a friend of ours, Ian Rankin, the mystery writer, and uh, he gave us a tour, a personal tour, met us at the door and took us around the National Gallery. He likes Gallery. creepy things. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but it was really good, and he was more excited to meet uh, uh, you know, Captain Jack, which I found really funny, because he's like a massive, major author. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and, and we were, you know, our, we're just, I think we're still just on the progressive starting route of it all. So he's giving us advice while he's fanboying out over me. <laughs> I thought it was awesome. But the, the whole, with the art. Not so much. <laughs> we, we, both, we all, we both love art. We both like the fact that, uh, you know, we wanted the creative process is what Carol said. We do all the research, all the work that we can go to the places if we can. If I can't go because of my work schedule, uh, then Scott gets to go with her, and they then take all the notes and all the stuff. And, and while I'm working, I get pictures sent to me and things that you know where the location of where they are, what we're thinking, you know, what we talked about doing, would it work with this? Da 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 da. So the process is a collaborative process. But like she said, when it's time to write, <laughs> yeah, she yeah, she does. She takes everything and puts it all into the word form. Then when she's done, which is about you know usually six to nine months later, uh, I then it's just like having a child. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's things in between them. There's call, there's phone calls in the middle of the night to ask the most mundane questions, but I answer them really tired, really politely, yeah. really politely. Why are you calling me for four in the morning? But we have to take a boat, and I don't know boats, so can you tell me what kind of boat we gotta use? Speed boat. <laughs> So we, uh, that, that kind of thing happens through the process, but then when the process is done and it's written, first draft, she then sends to me, and then I sit and I read the, the draft, or I'll do it chunk by chunk and do notes, and then we'll talk about it, we'll fight, we'll punch, we'll argue. I win. Yeah, and then some, you know, not all the time, but we sometimes, you know, we will collaborate on what we thought, and sometimes during that draft, it's even the editor that comes and says, cut that chapter. And then both, she looks at me and I go, you can cry all you want, but it's business. Well, and one of the things that I have learned, for those of you who also write, you know this, um, our words are not sacred. You can change them, you can rewrite them, you can find more. And um, if those of you who are interested in publishing and want to go on a different route than a traditional publisher, pay for a good editor. Our editor is awesome. She doesn't care that this is John Barrowman, Carol Barrowman, she cares nothing. She's all about the text, yeah. and it's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So the um, system of magic. The system of magic. Um, I really love the way it was developed. Can you talk about how you came up with that? Uh, yes, we came up with it um, on a bit of a sugar high. <laughs> I mean, from uh, London to Cardiff, and it was very late at night. John, I think I just finished taping some. Uh, I think it was um, one of the TV shows. One of the TV shows. <laughs> nice no, I don't remember. Like that. There's <laughs> been so many of them. <laughs> yeah, we're, in the, we're in the car. We always stop at M and S, and we get all our M and S Marks and Spencer. We get all our know. CDs, and um, by the time we get about 20 minutes outside, and one we're talking like that's we're really passionate about talking about that, and we've got millions of ideas. So we asked ourselves, <laughs> if we had a superpower, what would it be? And like a lot of people, what would you? Some of you guys say. Mm. What would be your superpower? Yes, exactly. Yeah. First one we went to was flying, and then we thought boring. <laughs> no, because everybody's going to do it. Yeah, so we, we thought, well, flying would be cool, but we thought that would be the most common one. And from there, we ended up getting, what if you could draw and bring your drawings to life? Which is the superpower that the twins, Matt and M. Calder, have in the book. And when they, and then we just took it another step, just while we were going, we said, what if not only could they draw and bring things to life, but if you could do that, think of all the people that would want to harness that power. And what they'd want to do with you and how many other people have had that power over the centuries.